Over here you'll find the mail room. All of Pauline's mail comes through here. Larger packages often get stored inside the mail room um, for a bit of added security. Over here you have the printer. Um, the printer's open for everyone to use. And over here you have Pauline's pool table. Um, down that way, um, we might go back there later, is one of the two Cloin laundry rooms. Over here you have the Lib Ed. Um, this room is uh, max capacity set to about 10 people due to COVID. Um, usually you'll find more people here during the day, um, but that would be post-pandemic. Um, in here, the lights are off at the moment. But this is the multicultural space. Um, and you see the shrine for Dio de los Muertos. Um, we'll take a brief tour of outside later. But as you can see, it is raining. Um, walking down the hall, we're heading towards my office, which is right there. Um, office hours have largely been digital just because of the pandemic. Um, and in here, you'll see one of Cloyne's study rooms. This is the dining room. Usually it's full of tables, but we've moved them outside for the pandemic. And over here you see the pre-kitchen. Um, so this is communal food. So anyone's welcome to all the food here. Cloin does provide room and board. Um, over there you see our variety of cereals. And this fridge and this area, this is the personal food. So if you wanna store your own food, you just make sure to put your name and the date on it. Over here, communal microwave, toasters, walking into the kitchen. Um, we have the lovely tree kitchen, dishes and such, coffee maker, as well as our dairy fridge um, for milk, cheese, yogurt. Over here is the sanitizer. So after we wash our dishes, they get sanitized so they're extra fresh. Um, that's one of the many work shifts at Cloin. Here we have the big kitchen. We have one member, hello. Um, overall tour, I'm just giving the things. Um, so uh, actually, this is where cheese is um, and other, and also like ham and stuff. Um, communal computer that gets used to play music while people cook. Um, there's the oven, the stove, and um, the grills. Um, this is our ice machine, um, as well as the pots room. So this is where the larger dishes um, get cleaned. And over here is where, um, you know, after they've been cleaned and dried, they end up there. Moving over here, we have um, a lot of just generic ingredients, rice, sugar, flour, baking powder, salt. We have our walk-in fridge. See, so this is usually also communal food. Some stuff will be labeled or put away for specific meals. And this is our freezer. Um, there is always ice cream available in our freezer. Um, yeah, never seen it not have ice cream. And this is the pantry. So this is where the more bulk items are. Um, you can get rice, plenty of spices, as well as seal cut oats and lentils. All right. Um, big mixer, smaller mixers, blender. Um, there's a panini press. Utensils and plates get placed over there, moving along. Um, in the past, there have been like performances or, you know, there's usually more people on the stage, but again, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Um, now we'll take a brief tour outside and I will open my umbrella. All right, so you can see we have a basketball court. At the moment, we've decided to set up a massive trampoline our outdoor space heater right there and um, our barbecue 
um, as well as our bikes. So a lot of these are personal bikes, but a couple of them are just house bikes. So for house bikes, anyone and everyone is allowed to take one if they so desire. Um, just bring it back. It's sort of like a checkout system. All right. Um, legendary pirate ship, um, hammock, uh, one of our outdoor seating areas, a little wet at the moment. Um, these black bins are for compost. Um, another shot of the ship. All right. And now we're going to head back indoors for some of the more exciting items. Um, yeah. So this door, like the entrance, they're all opened with the house key, which you will receive if you join our community. All right. Um, so this is an example of one of the bathrooms. Um, you usually share a bathroom with, during regular times, about five or six people. But during COVID, we have reduced capacity. So it's more like two to four. Um, with only a couple bathrooms being in the four range. This is one of our laundry rooms. Um, washing machine, dryer. Um, there's another four downstairs. But um, they are either coin operated or you can use an app. All right, now we're starting to head towards the basement. And down here, we have the maker space. Um, one of the exciting parts of Cloin. You see some lovely humans here. Hello. Um, so this is where a lot of the art happens. It's gonna be a little bit quieter because people are in meetings and we have our extra furniture room as well as a um, arcade machine, which works. Yeah. Um, it's been used a lot to make signs for protests um, and help organize. Um, and over here we have another special waste area, um, as well as a dark room. I don't want to open it up because there might be photos in there. Um, our free file is currently closed again because of the pandemic. And then over here, we have the music room. All right, and here's the music room. It is locked just because instruments are expensive, but it's pretty easy to get a key to it. Currently, it sees sparse use because we're working on a way to make sure it's not too loud for everyone. So moving back on out. Um, we are going to head to the gym, which is another one of the exciting places. Um, yes, we do have our own gym. Um, there you go. It has some weights and such, as well as a mat. Um, whatever this thing is called. Um, as well as a... Um, I believe a rowing machine, a member working out, as well as um, a bike, um, and a Lucas machine. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the majority of our tour. Um, I'll check back in and I'll give you a little tour of the basement, um, but we'll just do a quick cut. And we are heading downstairs to see the second laundry room and one of my personal favorite rooms, the maintenance room. Um, and you'll see why in a little bit. So first here is the second laundry room. Um, there aren't many times you won't be able to find a free laundry machine. Um, and again, coin operated as well as the app. Um, so this is just downstairs from the pool room, which you saw earlier. And now I am heading to the maintenance room. So yeah, our maintenance room, it has a lot of exciting things going on. It's where we do all the repairs that we can do in the house. We have drills, we have saws, 
We have tools. If you do borrow a drill, make sure to return it. Um, we can cut our own keys here, um, control the heating system. We've been installing screens in room this rooms this semester. So yeah, this concludes our tour. I hope you'll consider cloying uh, when choosing your housing option.